our host for today, Mr. Bobby Nats, the president of Gorenje Group. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome on the Gorenje booth. I'm, I'm extremely happy today. I'm, I'm proud, I'm honored. Thank you for coming for the press conference of the Gorenje Group. Uh, thank you for the world premiere for the launching of Gorenje by Star College. That's why my warm welcome goes especially to our special star, guest star, Philippe Star. Chef Philippe, bienvenue. <laughs> Chef Jasmine, bienvenue. Uh, but today is really a special day. For the first time, this press conference and the launching of the very new collection of Gorenje home appliances. Before I give the floor to our famous guest, designer Philip Stark, I would like to spend a couple of minutes just to introduce you a little bit about Gorenje and give you a kind of link between design and Gorenje, design and Stark and, and why we are launching this very collection today. First of all, Gorenje is not only the biggest uh, industrial company in our country, it's also one of the biggest exporter and in the last couple of years we are exporting more and more, we are growing much faster than our peers and than our competitors. Gorenje today is not present only in Europe but also in the United States, in Australia, in Middle East, uh, North Africa, Latin America. We are selling more and more premium and innovative products. Uh, we are selling not only Gorenje, but also ASCO as a premium brand name that we are exhibiting also during this IFA fair. But on the other side, our industry is a tough industry, a mature business, and of course one needs to manage costs, one needs to be competitive, one needs to manage different technologies. But in a way it's more important uh, to understand end consumer. Technology is good, it's a must, but it's not enough. And here comes the way, the bridge towards the end consumer, and this bridge is design. Gorenje, for many, many years, is challenging our industry. We were the first to start with famous creator of appliances, famous names. We were the first to start to use different materials on the front of the panels, uh, on the doors, like glass, colored appliances, and so on and so on. So we are kind of challenger and that's why design has become, in the Gorenje Group, an element of differentiation of our company. But now, let's come to our guest, to our specific line of products. Uh, and before I give the floor to, to Philippe Stark, let me just share with you some of the thoughts uh, that I have here uh, to share with you. I really, I'm honored and pleased that uh, Philippe Stark accepted our proposal a couple of years ago to collaborate with Gorenia. Uh, he's not only designer, he's architect, he's creator of products and while reading one of his uh, latest interview I liked very much his uh, expression when he said you know I'm not just a designer designing products for me designing the product is a kind of creating every day a gift for my friend that's what you are doing every every day and that's why uh, a kind of connection that you are mentioning in this very interview between brand name of Stark and brand name of Gorenje, you said this link, this connection between the two brands are the following terms. Quality, intelligence and honesty. Chef Philippe, merci d'avoir accepté cette invitation. The floor is yours. And uh, we are three to hear about your comments and uh, launching on these very products that we are proud of. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hopefully, that will be not long because I hope there is nothing to say. Because if there is two things to say, that means we have missed the point. Because finally, we can ask us some question. We have five minutes. Uh, do you live in a space lab? 
No. That means you don't need no. the kitchen of a space lab. Do you prefer you or your oven? I prefer, I prefer you. And I can check, there is beautiful woman, and I think you are better than even the best oven. Do you want work 20% of your life just to pay your oven? No, I hope for you. Or you are masochist. That is the main idea of finally what we have made here. We, uh, we, I, I just arrived from the plane and I see beautiful thousand things, beautiful oven, uh, refrigerator and things like that. So what? So what if it's not the right thing? I think the only secret, the only thing to do is just to make the right product in the right way at the right price for the right people. It's the other way to speak about honesty. I think the, the first thing, the first gift you can give to your friend is if they can afford it. Because if I design a new Rolls Royce, you will say, oh my God, it's beautiful. But you know you cannot have it. It's a little disappointing, no? That's why I prefer design for you the best, the right product, and you can afford it. That is very, very important. You know, the right thing to do now, I repeat, it's honesty. That means I was speaking about space labor. We don't need crazy thing. I, I was speaking, I, I want all you also ask you the question, do you want to make high school to use your oven? No. And I saw so many products uh, which you don't understand how to use it. That's why during years, we have worked with the fantastic team of Gorenier to find the right balance. A product which is high quality, I hope high design, but not low price, but because for a low price you have a low quality, but just the right price. What is the, the right price for an oven? There is one. And one is not enough expensive, that will say that it's not good, or it's made by slaves. There is no slaves at Gorenier. Ah, I don't see the slaves. Uh, or uh, it's just 20% higher because, because we don't know, because there is no reason. That's why during years, I said I want something like that, and they said no. No, because you will be not in the right price. And I said, okay, that I understand. I want to make something like that. And they said, no, stay simple. And we stay simple. And this work was very interesting. And that's why today the collection of Gorenier is perhaps rare on the market. Because it's just what you need, not, not what not too much and not not enough and also i was asking you if you prefer you or your oven and it's about reflection you see when you see a wall like that what do you see do you see me or do you see the oven you see me and that is the idea the idea is the priority is not the materiality the priority is the fantastic evening you will spend with your friends, with your boyfriend, your, your wife, your children, I don't, your dog, but with somebody, something alive and not with a piece of glass and metal. And for this, the message is clear. Look, it's a mirror. You just see you. And the only trick the only symbol of this, it's even the reflection behind. 
because no way I don't want to impose you a color. But also, all these products are so boring. They are, you have the choice, like for the 40, you can choose black or black or black. And not different black, always the same black. Uh, here, hopefully, we are a little gray. Uh, but the idea was to bring colors. But I cannot, I cannot, I repeat, impose colors. That's why the color comes by the reflection, which gives opportunity of little mental mental game because every time you will see almost nothing you will see you reflect and this ghost of color is this type of thing we like because it's like a, a subtil subtile subtle subtle conversation subtle poetry make the less possible is a lot of work the less possible is work only on details on joint how we can make less to give you the space to live that's the main idea and uh, and that's all. You are first. You are the star of your kitchen. It's not the oven which is the star of your kitchen. And if the Gorenier people have worked well with the famous honesty of Gorenier, I hope that will be not a Kleenex product. I hope this product will be for you, for your life, and for your daughter when she will marry. Because today, the, the best value is longevity, transmission and heritage. Some years ago, heritage uh, looks very old. Oh my God, this idea of grandfather and things like that is completely archaic. Not now. Now, a designer like me have to create, avoiding the trap of trends, and manufacturers like them have to create with the best quality. Like that, I repeat, it's not for three years, it's for 30 years, which is a big difference for economy, for ecology, and even philosophically, it's something which is more interesting. That's why there is so many things to say, strangely, about nothing. Because I am very happy to say that it's nothing, that's why it's the best. Now, now I am sure you won't ask some question. Uh, you can ask things very personal. Why is so sexy and handsome? Me, why I am not so elegant? <laughs> what is this paint? I can answer it immediately. I was in a, in a, in a shop for accessories for cooking, and I see a tablecloth. Tablecloth was this fabric. And I buy the tablecloth and I send the fabric to my maid and she make me a pant with. That's why I think it's a beautiful symbol to come here when we speak about kitchen with a pant made with a tablecloth. It's perhaps very ugly, I agree, but it's, uh, it's a tablecloth. <laughs> Some question. Is there something you haven't designed yet, but you wish to? I have designed so many things, I have no frustration. But the right answer is, today we don't need to design more. We don't need to produce more. We have just to need, we just need to design, create, produce with a higher vision. That's why my job, my real job now, is to make better and better and better and better. If you ask me really what I want to do, the answer is very clear. The only thing to do now, no, the only thing to do is always something which helps us to have a better life, but before that, something which can save life. And that's all. There is many reasons, many ways to save life. Uh, today, I have 
make more than 10,000 projects in my life. I have made on this 10,000, perhaps the majority, making people a better life, but I never save a life. That is so frustration for me. Hi, another question. Uh, does political issues like the refugees crisis right now in Europe affect your work? That don't affect my work. That affect me because, because we cannot understand. There is nothing in every point of this we can understand. That's why I think we are paralyzed. The problem is between, during the time us, we are comfortably, comfortably, comfort in comfort, paralyzed, people die. Uh, when I was speaking about working to save life, it was one of the subjects, what we can do. And I am sorry to say that the cannot do anything. That's why one of my dream is to design less and to be more involved in real action, political, uh, ecological, what you want, but something, I repeat, I'm sorry, to save life. Hello. Um, what action do you think this will be suitable most, or what kind of uh, background environment, these products? We have made, we have designed this collection, especially in the ID, to be enough discreet, uh, to be to go everywhere and enough strong to appreciate the quality when you see it. That means it's a type of product which calls that a second vision. That means if you want see it, you see it. If you don't want to see it, you don't see it. I see me. That is very, 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 very important to give the opportunity to you, to us, to choose if you want to uh, uh, see or not. I, today, the number one bestseller in the world in furniture is one of my pieces, is called Louis Ghost. Everybody has saw the Louis Ghost, it's a sort of uh, Louis XVI armchair, completely transparent. Why is it's number one in the world? It's because people, everybody can live with everywhere, because it's transparency, like we have the reflection here, give you the opportunity to decide to see it or not, which give you some space when you need and some beauty when you need, but you are not obliged to live with. This kitchen, I repeat, the main thing I see in this kitchen, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's even the president, even the president, yes, here, I'm inside, he's <laughs> inside. Uh, Mr. Stark, is there something you designed and you regret about it? Uh, I regret everything. <laughs> I regret everything and uh, my, uh, my wife uh, is a witness of this because I work non-stop every day, 14 hours by day, and I spend my day insulting myself. Uh, I am alone. Uh, in our collection of middle of nowhere, uh, I repeat working a lot, and you can hear the poor guy, asshole, stupid, uh, how you can be so, so stupid, I insult myself, for me it's never enough well done, it's never enough honest, it's never enough. This don't make me happy. That's sure, I am never happy of anything, but that gives me also, uh, 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 that gives me a reason to continue, because I always hope I shall do it well next time, but never, never enough. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. One more question. Okay. Do you have your uh, designs at your own uh, private home? It's fun because when I was young, 
last century, I was known to make very incredible products and things like that. And strangely, I have nothing at home. Because it was, for a simple reason, it was impossible to sit on. It was just impossible to use it. And uh, after, I, 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 I refine my work and more and more and more and more and more and more, I have all my projects around me. Not because uh, it's me, just because they are good. They are good for us, they are good for me, because I live well with them and, uh, and it's not just fun, fancy design for a journalist. <laughs> Last question? No? Yes, yes. Uh, I am not proud of me, but I am proud of my life. Because, because I have to feed five children, one beautiful wife, four ex-wife, some parents everywhere. I have to feed all that. But all my wife, all my life, I have worked with this famous honesty, without any, any, any compromission. I have never made something just for the money. I never make something for a bad reason. I have always fight, fight, fight since ever, following my good or bad reason. But it's my reason, it's my vision, it's my ethic, it's my philosophy. And uh, after, after all these years, I can be proud of that. Few people stay so free, so right, so so yes, so free, so so me. <laughs>